for the love of papyrus, I dedicate this video. For today, I found a small thicket of this outlawed plant by the roadside. It has been oh so long since we've been together. From the very beginning, papyrus was used to make reed boats, and the fan of the upper tuft was a design feature even in wooden vessels. Here is my first ever carving of the papyrus fan design. The reedy banks of the Nile were teeming with life. All manner of birds would find food and shelter there. Even the mongoose made use of the papyrus. Here, the Nile god Hapi, with the headdress of the reed. The goddess Hathor, form of a cow emerges from a papyrus thicket. This was a potent image projecting abundance and fertility. In many an Egyptian temple, a virtual forest of palm and papyrus columns would hold up the roof. These gigantic and accomplished columns would go on to inspire the ancient Greeks and their temple architecture. The very first attempts at making columns occurred in the Old Kingdom, where they tried to mimic what was made with papyrus and tried to carve them in stone. But they did not yet have the confidence to release them from the walls they were carved into. This would come later. Humble Papyrus, I welcome you back into my life. May you prosper and grow. And may this little baby rise up to the sun.